So we've been working on a load of different demonstrations, a load of different ways that if a customer owns one, two, or four Sony devices, how they all work together and do something a little bit different to what you can do on, say, one of the Korean guys or the American guys. And we've got a few pretty cool demos. I'm not going to run you through all of this today because it takes quite a long time. I'll show you just one thing very, very briefly. This is a demo of something that will be coming later on this year. Um, so this is Xperia S. So this is the latest Sony mobile handset, the first handset from Sony Mobile. And just one quick demo to show you on here. Most of you have seen Track ID. So very similar to something like Shazam, for example. So you hit a button, you wait a few seconds, the phone samples the music. So if you're in a bar or in a club and you hear a track you love, you hit this, it finds the name of the artist, name of the track, name of the album, the year it was released, etc., etc. Shazam can do that. You can do that on pretty much any Android phone. You can do it on an iPhone. Where this is different is that we'll be able to identify the song and then with one tap, add it to your Music Unlimited library, which is just Sony Music Library. So if I'm in a bar, I hear a song, it's quite cool. Hold my phone up, tap the button, find the name of the track. When I get home and turn on my hi-fi system, when I get home and turn on my tablet, for example, that track is already on my hi-fi ready to play. It's already on my PlayStation 3, my TV set, my Vio, my tablet, pretty much any Sony device. If I add a song on one, it's added to all of the others. One of the really cool bits about Music Unlimited as well is if you're a subscriber, we also take your existing music collection and park it in the cloud. So if you have an iTunes collection home, for example, literally you run a small app, all of your iTunes collection is lifted and copied to the cloud, and then you've got your entire iTunes collection on any device. So again, whether it's a mobile, whether it's a tablet, or even your TV set, you can access every bit of music you've got stored at home on your computer. And that's a part of the service, part of Music Unlimited. The other side of things, this is pretty simple as well, the demo I've been showing over here is around Google Docs. Simple to most of you guys probably, to consumers, this is still a little bit of black magic. You only buy a mobile phone, you've got to transfer your contacts from one mobile to another mobile phone. It's an absolute pain in the backside. One of the simplest things we can and should be doing for customers in store, on our devices, is when you buy a Sony mobile, if you buy a Sony tablet, tap in your Google account, tap in your password, all of your contacts, your calendars, your emails, your photographs, automatically sync across devices. Not used for most of you in the room. For customers, that's honestly a major shift in the way they use devices. The scariest bit about buying a new piece of kit is getting all your content onto it. So if we can explain it better than anybody else, make it simpler than anybody else, we've got a story that no one else is doing. That works across documents, for example. So I've got Google Docs loaded up on tablet here. So if I start tapping in a document on this, uh, I type hello again because I've got a really limited repertoire. You can see the word hello appears over here. And again on the TV set over here. So this is Google Box. This is a box you add to your television set, it adds Android to your TV, and you get all the things we're talking about here on these devices, on the mobile side, on your television set at home. And you're going to see a bit more on Google Box around the corner when you head into the TV section. So I won't show you too much about that. So that gives you an idea of some of the simple, simple stuff we do. We can take it a little bit further with Ice Cream Sandwich, which I'll talk about in a second on tablet. We will be able to do, for example, download an app on one device, the same app automatically downloads on your other products. We'll be able to do some pretty, pretty cool stuff, which is unique to us, throwing screens. So rather than just throwing music, videos, and pictures over DNA, we'll be able to replicate whatever is on the screen of your device on a television set, for example. So I don't know how many of you have seen this already. A few of you probably went to CES and saw Xperia S over there. So just a couple of bits of this. This is, as I say, the first Sony mobile handset. Camera-wise, we think this is one of the quickest cameras on any mobile device anywhere. So even from standby, if I press and hold the camera button, I'm straight into my camera and start taking shots pretty bloody quickly. Literally one of these fastest cameras out there. And I've owned, this is a fact actually, I've owned over 25 mobiles in the last 12 months. Not all Sony mobiles. Um, and one of them is ringing in my crotch at the minute, but none of them were anywhere near as quick as the camera on this thing. So 12 megapixel camera, ridiculously fast. So again, from standby, if the camera's off, and I press and hold the shutter button, I'm straight into the camera, and it starts taking my first shot. Same for HD video, for example. Everything I've just shown you works on this. So the photographs I'm taking can be immediately available, for example, on my Google Box or on my Sony tablet once we get ice cream sandwich, which again I'll show you on the other side. There's one more thing which is really, really cool. So if you come this way, I want to show you what we're doing with NFC. Okay. So Xperia S also has NFC built in. That means when you buy the handset, We'll have these little tanks which will come with it, or you can buy separately as accessories. 
So the idea behind these little tags is you can pick these up and you can put them anywhere around your house. So we've set one up in the car, for example. Car. We've got one here in my living room. We've got one in the bedroom over here. So if you imagine this is my car, as soon as I grab my Xperia S, unlock, get into my car and tap it against this tag, so I hold it against it, you'll see automatically I can set the phone to launch any app, change any settings. So on this I've got to do my brightness is ramped up to max. I turn on GPS, I turn on Wi-Fi so I can position if I'm in a Wi-Fi hotspot and start car navigation. So every time I get in my car, as long as I touch my phone against my dock, I'm good to go and use it as a sat nav unit. In this scenario, so I've got over here my lounge, where I've got a little Bluetooth speaker set up, and I've got another one of these little tags. So imagine you listen to some music on your phone, you've got your headphones in, you come home from work after your commute, rip off the headphones, chuck it on the side, take your phone, tap it on the table, and again you guys will be able to see this. Immediately, without touching a thing, it turns on Bluetooth, starts playing my last play track, connects to my speaker at home, and just starts playing. It's super, super simple. Literally, turn it off, I can go right back to scratch, and as soon as I put it on that tag, recognises it, starts playing. You can set this up to do anything. So I've set up these pretty simple scenarios over here. This one, if you come this way over here, this is bedroom. So like most of you guys, I use this as my alarm clock in the morning. Same thing, if I tap on my bedside table, it detects the tag, becomes a clock, shows me weather for the rest of the morning. I can even set it to automatically dim the screen so it doesn't wake me up at night with a pretty bright screen. So you can set these to do anything. So if at home, for example, I've got one set by my front door, as soon as I come in after work, I take my phone, drop it onto my tag, this automatically connects to my computer, launches our software, which is called MediaGo, and starts synchronizing my photos of Picasso and my music of iTunes. All I have to do is come in and tap it on my little counter by the front door. So it's super, super simple. So I'll be really honest with you, here's the thing with, with all Android tablets, trying to do something which is a bit different is quite bloody difficult. Most of the tablets out there have the same processors, have the same screen, they all look much of a muchness from the front as well. So we tried specifically with this to try and launch something a little bit different to the rest, which is why you've got the curved design, why it's designed to feel like a folded magazine or a folded newspaper when you hold it. The other bits we've got which are kind of different is, for example, this, uh, the remote control app which Motorola have just started, but at launch we were the only people doing it. Today we're still the only ones to do anything as advanced as this. So I've got a full remote control app built into the tablet. I've got an infrared sender receiver built into the top of the tablet. So I can use it to turn TV sets on, to turn them off, to control my Skybox, for example. I can configure it to control my Samsung TV, if I was crazy enough to buy a Samsung TV. I can use it to do my Virgin Media Box. It will literally control anything in my home. That's the full remote, and you've got all the kind of dedicated fancy buttons on the front if you need them. But also, you can set up a really simple gesture alert. So if my mum, for example, who just doesn't have a clue, she can use this, and she can do volume up very, very simply, volume down, and change channel, and that is all she can do. She's not allowed to press any of the buttons on my remote. So really, really easy to use, and as I say, this can be configured to control basically anything. So I've got it for my TV, my Blu-ray player, and this home theatre kit down here. But it could just as easily be a Panasonic television set, a Samsung Blu-ray player, and a Sky Plus box, for example. Once you've turned your TV set on, which is the, the first part of it, the second part is if I start playing a video clip on my tablet, and I'll just fire up a, a random clip here. We've got an HD screen, so I can watch HD video natively on this display. But I can also take any video I've got on this, let the tablet search the room to try and find television sets, hi fis or anything else, and then once I've found my TV, I can throw from my tablet to a TV. I don't need a separate set-top box, I need to buy any specific cables. Pretty much any network connected TV from the last 18 to 24 months, I can grab video, pictures and music from here and throw to a TV set. So anything I've got on here, stored on the tablet, as long as it's not DRM'd, I can throw to a TV, to a hi-fi system, to a digital photo frame, for example, to a computer, to a games console, if you've got a net connected piece of kit in your living room, you can send from this to that. So you're not stuck watching videos on this. Even if I was showing HD video from here to the TV set, while it's sending it, I can still back out, browse the net, check my email, and leave it streaming HD video to the TV while I run a different app. So it's a pretty adept at multitasking. Today, still, there's no one else making that as simple as this on a tablet device. You either have to buy more bits of kit, or you have to buy a specific brand or type of TV set. So it's still pretty unique to us. 
The last bit is PlayStation. So we have the world's only PlayStation certified tablet. So we have PlayStation Store, which is also on Xperia S, the handset you just saw, and on here. And it means you can go onto our store and you can download a whole load of PlayStation titles. There's a load of exclusive titles, there's a load of generic games. What's unique about us, beyond having the PlayStation stores, you can play them using a, a PlayStation controller. So for example, I've got Grand Theft Auto, which I'm trying to play upside down, uh, and I can use a PlayStation controller to play my games on my tablet, wirelessly as well, so I don't have to have a cable connected between the two. So the software to do that is ours, so unique, and it's on the tablet already. So everyone that bought one of these tablets would have had an update in December to allow them to use a PlayStation 3 controller wirelessly with their tablet. And that works with pretty much any game. So most games you can play using this. We had a, a barnstorm at Christmas. We sold pretty much everything we had to sell this Christmas. The challenge will be this year when we've got a load of new entries. So as you know, we're going to see devices from the guys that make reading devices. We're going to probably see a new device from the guys from Patino. So we have to up our game a little bit. We have a, a pretty aggressive schedule for software updates for our tablets. So like you've seen the update for this in December, there's Office software made available on our tablet this month. We have ice cream sandwich coming in the spring as well on our tablet, on both models of tablet. So we've got a, a long roadmap for the next 10 to 12 months of free software updates. So whatever the other guys are doing, we'll be able to add features and add updates to our tablet to keep us up to speed.